Who's so goddamn smiling? <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. did you get into entrepreneurship? Here's my story. Ready? Come from an immigrant family, mm. right? They came here that that classic journey of like came with very little to mm. offer their kids the opportunity to have the world. Mm. But that's the thing; it's the opportunity to have the world. Meaning, you know, no silver spoon. You gotta work your ass out to get it. Yes. But in a nutshell, I was working as a doorman for some time. I met one of the residents, and he was like, "Dude." Let me put you on to being in business mm. because no matter how many times you open that door, your earning is capped. Because you're a doorman, right? Because I'm a doorman, right?、Mm. So he's like, "Let me show you how to make value out of your time."、Mm. Boom! That was my first chip. Once, once it clicked for me, it was over,、mm. right? So he had a chain of dry cleaners. So he gave me access to his dry cleaner,、mm. and all I had to do was go and convince people, "Hey, I love your blouse. I love your jacket." They gave me their clothes. My mentor would clean them for me at wholesale price. I charged a market rate, and I'd make the spread.、Hmm. So I broke into the film business. My first client was The Wolf of Wall Street, very big movie.、Yeah. Then we did Boardwalk Empire, Law and Order.、Mm. So I、mm. dropped out of school. I was 18. We share that. We、mm. both dropped out yes. of college. Yes. I dropped out of college. Started my first business. Grew it. Was fortunate to sell it. And since then, I've been in, investing in businesses and doing content and stuff like that. I love the business model. So basically, you're turning something that's that has an infrastructure, right? That's providing value. It's it's a service, right? That's right. And it, it's not like a, a a tech, you know, you know, be a brand new technology. It's, right. It's pretty. It's, a lot of dry cleaning, right? Basic. I'm dry cleaning, cleaning. dirty underwear. Yeah, like、right? it's dry cleaning, right? <laughs> yeah. But you're you're able to add value as kind of the middle person as a broker. That's right. How did you market yourself back then? Like how did you got how did you get all these contracts? What I learned is that there's riches and niches,、mm. and so everybody around me was killing themselves for a forty dollar transaction,、mm. right? But in reality, I was in my own lane with big enterprise accounts、mm. that I, I don't know if you watch Law and Order. I don't, but I know that they're on season thirty something. They、yes. always come back every yes. three months. Yes, yes. Big accounts generating forty to sixty thousand dollars every three months. I like those numbers. And guess what? When I was in there, there was nobody in that space. And so,、mm. I like niches. For anyone watching, growing their business,、mm. if you're playing in a space where there's too much com- competition, yeah. Then it becomes a, a pissing match. It becomes who who has more dollars to captivate the the broad market.、Mm. And when you're a startup, by definition, you're strapped on resources. So you want to stay in a lane where you can carve out your own, you know, lane pretty much. And、yes. so the telltale sign for a niche is when individuals know individuals.、Mm. And so like all the wardrobe supervisors, that was the name of my gatekeeper.、Yes. They all knew each other.、Mm. And and so. The, to answer your so question, once you got my in, marketing one, cost was very low. Once we got in,、yes. and the margin was very high, so it's a right, good business. Right, and、yeah. from there, I think you sold the business within two years. I sold it within a couple years.、Yes. I, one thing I want to clarify too, because people glorify selling the business. Yes, I would have been making way more money now if I would have stayed with the business. Interesting. The reason I sold the business. Is because I learned that that's not really what I wanted to do.、Mm. It's just a stepping stone. That, the, that's correct. Yeah, I got in the game, right?、Yeah. That's correct. And if that would have been my passion, I still would have been there.、Mm. But I learned. Okay, I learned how to build a business. Right. I got an offer, and by the way, on demand, you know, Uber for everything, Uber for food, Uber for this, Uber. For ev- Uber for everything was popping up. People were raising a lot of money.、Mm. I had to look at the landscape, and I said, I'm not going to go down that path. Because、mm. they're killing each other on price,、Correct. and bringing down the margin. I said, you know what? Let me sell this while I can,、mm. and set my sights elsewhere.